We got Jared driving. We got Juddy as a co-pilot. Hey! Of course, me, Big Al as a negotiator. Navigator. <laughs> I'll get it right here in a minute. But we're on 19 heading up. We should be up there in about an hour or so. So stick with J J2 Outdoor Adventures, and we'll let you know when we get there and shoot some more video. Stay tuned. Hello, everybody. We are walking up the mountain. There's Jared in front of me. Jetty up in front. Going up to check our cameras. See what's on them. It's going to take us a while to get up there. But we're going to take our time getting up there because it is hot and there's creepy crawlers out. Stick with J&J &J True Outdoor Adventures and we'll get back with you. Hey guys, we've done made it about, oh, halfway up the mountain. Things are starting to change. Still got a long ways to go before it changes. We haven't had any frost. There goes Jared, he's leading the way. There's Big Al. Hello. So, we're starting through the jungle. We ain't playing through the jungle, but we're going through the jungle. Jared's getting a little farther away from me, so the music starts to cut out. Like I said, this video is not monetized because we have copyright material playing. So, just any of you guys who think about video and your hunts, uh, I know a good friend of mine, Dan, who just started his YouTube channel, just got his video online uh, just a few weeks ago. He contacted me. If you play video or if you play music and it's copyrighted, you don't get monetized. So, of course, you got to reach a thousand subscribers before you start your monetization. But we're headed up the mountain. Game cameras to check. Appreciate you watching JJ True Outdoor Adventures. We'll be back. Guys, the mass is hit up here on the mountain. We're finding these acorns and there's some hickory. There's some hickory right there. This is just in the roadway going up to where we're hunting. They're falling right now. I just yeah. heard one fall out of the tree. Yeah, Jared just heard one fall out of a tree. So there's mass up here on the mountain. So that means... We don't know how thick it'll be yet. Right. But there is mass and it's looking good right now. That's right. We're listening to our jam. Big Al, we're taking breaks, letting him catch his breath. Jared's over here doing a little shaking. <laughs> he likes that old time rock and roll along with that modern rock and roll. We're updating our tune list for camp. And we'll have an unmonetized video with different styles of music. We might sing Simple Man around a campfire again. <laughs> we'll try to do a better job for those out there that say we'll have better lessons. lighting well the one guy on there i can't remember his name he said jared needs singing lessons <laughs> well i think that was that big owl though they heard and it may have been but here's the but here's the thing i will try better and uh if you don't like it then don't watch it because just, I'm singing, just fast forward i'm singing and having a good time that's right have a good time with us don't worry about what it sounds like if i could sing better i'd be a musician it's the three days before <laughs> opening season that's it ain't it exactly that's what it is we all have a good we time a good those time. first three days right and then we get serious on opening morning exactly so. but we're up at the almost to the very top still got a little ways to go We've got what? Eight trail cameras to check. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. Eight trail cameras to check. And I'm going to be doing that Wild Game Innovations tablet. We're going to be using that to check some of these video cards, or not video cards, but SD cards. If we get anything, we may share it. <laughs> we will share some. <laughs> if we get anything that we are really excited about, you will see those after season. Yeah. Or when you'll see them whenever we have them on the ground. That's right. So we're going to move on. Thanks for watching. 
Hey everybody, Big Al here with J&J True Outdoor Adventures. We're on uh, our hunting camp. We're looking for, uh, I was going to our cameras, see how many pictures we got and everything like that. Only problem is I can't find my cameras. I don't know where they're at. I've been over down on the left hand side where uh, my one camera is. I cannot find it. I've been all over the top where my other camera is. I cannot find it. So I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to sit here and wait for Juddy and Jared to get up here. And hopefully we can find them because I have no clue where they're at. I thought I did. I went and tracked and tracked and tracked and looked and looked and looked. Could not find them. The only thing I found was a garter snake about three foot long. Um, other than that, I have no clue where they're at. I cannot find them. I've walked all the way down to the almost uh, the hill goes down it goes down like that to a flat i've walked all the way down there i could not find them i've walked all the way back up here could not find it i walked all the way down to the bottom could not find it i don't know where my camera cameras are i hope nobody come up here and took them we've seen somebody who had been up here but um sorry i'm scratching i hope nobody took them uh, i don't know what's going on I, i'm probably just overlooking them or something but uh Anyways, we'll let you know. Stick to J&J Trail Outdoor Adventures, uh, and we'll let you know what's going on. Look, folks, even at the end of summertime, getting ready to head into fall, look how beautiful and quiet it is up here. You can hear the wind blowing. Every now and then you hear a bird chirping. next thing close to heaven. Okay folks, we're headed out from my spot. Jared had one camera totally destroyed. I mean totally destroyed. I may try to get some pictures of it when we get back to the truck. Uh, my cameras had one had over 8,000 pictures on it, but most of it was just the sun changing positions, the shadows on the you know, ground. We're headed out here now to check Alvin's stuff. He went on ahead of us. He was going to pull the micro SD card out of one camera and then go up to his other camera. We're going to meet him there because he only had one micro SD card. So. We'll see what's going on and uh, report back. We may have some pictures and we may not. It's starting to rain on us now, but uh, the, uh, the trip up here is a lot of fun. And uh, we appreciate you going along with us. I'm a little bit out of breath, so. Uh, just stay tuned to j j True Outdoor Adventures. And uh, we'll let you know what else is going on. See what Alvin's got. Uh, if you got anything, like I said, we'll share some pictures. Uh, I know I had a couple deer on mine and a bear. Uh, so, can't remember what was on Jared's. I think he had a deer too. So, just stay tuned. We'll be back. Okay, Jared and I have made it to Alvin's two cameras. Apparently, he'd made it to the first one. He hadn't made it to the second one. I, you know, it was easy maybe to him walk past it. We found his second one. We checked his car. He hadn't walked past it. And it's now 5.04. We've been up here hollering and hollering for him. We had made a plan that he was to go to the camera down the road check it come up to the other camera on the ridge and stay there 
until we came back from our cameras. He didn't want to walk out to, with us to our cameras. This is the reason why you carry radios. Now, I have mine on my backpack. Jared doesn't have his. Big Al doesn't have his. But we have yelled and yelled and yelled and no answer back. We don't know where he's at. We don't know if he's hurt. Yeah, it took us a little longer because I had four cameras. Jared had two. But the plan was stay on the ridge with your upper camera. We'll meet you there. He's not there. He went there first, apparently changed that card because Jared checked. Card was empty, nothing on it. We walked down the roadway where the other camera's at. That camera hadn't been checked. We pulled the SD card, put one in it, and started back out. But we, when we was down there, we yelled for him. Never heard him. We've yelled for him again. Jared's went back down the trail thinking, well, maybe he walked past. But the plan was stay at your camera. We'll meet you there. And he's not there. And the thing is, at least stay at the intersection where we left you, where we split off. And when me and Jared went to our cameras, he come out here to his. So don't know where he's at. But we're looking. Jared went one way, I went the other. If we find him, two shots in the air. I think I heard Jared holler a minute ago, so just stay tuned. But again... This is why you carry those FRS radios. Don't ever go in the woods without them. Hey, everybody. Big Al with J&J Trout Outdoor Adventures. This is the dealio. I was on the mountain checking my cards, my camera. I found one. Couldn't find the other one. So I sat down on top where I thought we were supposed to meet. Well, we were supposed to meet. Waiting on Jody and Jared. And uh, waited and waited and waited and... I heard someone down here holler at the bottom. Well, I didn't pay no attention to it at first. And I heard them again and again and again. I was like, oh, man, they're down to the truck. So I stood up and I yelled, you know, hey, guys, where you at? Didn't hear nothing. So I yelled even louder, hey, guys, where you at? Didn't hear anything. Then the third time I yelled top of my lungs, hey, guys, where you at? Didn't hear it. I'm like, man, they're down to the truck waiting on me. I said, I better hightail it down there. So I did. Got back down to the truck, as you can tell. I'm down sitting on the tailgate of Jared's truck. Got down here. They wasn't here. They're on top looking for me. Do I feel like a fool? So Jared just come down a few minutes ago and shot up in the, shot up in the woods, let Juddy know that he found me. He's going back up to meet with him and come back down. Uh remember guys if you say you're gonna meet somewhere stay there do not move that was my big mistake but like i said i heard someone hollering i thought that was them so uh just take a, a tip from me stay where you say you're going to be stay tuned well apparently without letting us know alvin's went back down to the truck just heard two gunshots that was the signal that he'd been found. Two gunshots sound like they come from down where the truck is. Of course, I'm still up here on the friggin' mountain and I've got to make my way through the jungle down to them. So, so what I'm doing now, I know I'm out of focus, I'm out of frame. GoPro's dead, so I'm having to use my cell phone. Sorry about that, but Again, the justification for having radios with you at all times, especially up here. All the hollering we done, either he couldn't hear us from all the way down there to where he could holler back. And of course, him being down there, we probably wouldn't hurt him. But I'm headed out of here. Uh, I'm sure Jerry's probably giving Big Al a lecture about you don't ever leave anybody up on the mountain like that. So uh, we told him we would come to him. But uh, once he got to his camera up here on the ridge to stay there, and we would come to him. And he didn't do it. 
Don't know. He may have had an excuse why he went back down. I don't know. But I guess I'll find out when I get down there. I'm here at the intersection where Jared and I was going to meet at 545. Uh, if neither one of us found him. Apparently, Jared went all the way down to the truck. So, just stay tuned, folks. Be more to come. What an adventure today on J, J True Outdoor Adventures. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, we're down here at the truck. Big Al's down here. Jared and Big Al's looking at the pictures off his camera. He's got a bunch of deer on his camera. And you can tell they just found the one that he's going to be interested in. So uh, appreciate you going along with us. This is going to be it. We got to go uh, talk to some people about our camp. And uh, it'll be November before we're back up here to do any hunting. So appreciate you watching J&J &J True Outdoor Adventures. Uh, the bugs are terrible up here. Uh, bug spray's done wore off. Smoking a little cigarette, trying to keep the bugs out of my face. But I mean, you can see there's a bee flying around. But uh, stay tuned for more videos from J&J True Outdoor Adventures. And uh, as we like to say, we'll see you in the woods. Thanks for watching. <laughs>